Hello, YouTube. We are now going to react to the new ban and limited list that just came out, I guess, a couple hours ago or something. I, I don't know. My sense of time is off. I was sleeping, and now I'm awake. Uh, we're going to look at the cards, and we're going to find out what's going on. Um, does someone in the chat have a link to the actual official ban list? Does someone have a link? That way I'm not, like, fidgeting around and spoiling the answer before we even start. Ah, uh, thank you. That was very convenient. Alright. Let's see what's going on. Uh, okay, good. Does not look like we're going to get spoiled. This is updated as of today. Very cool. Band pairs, okay. Yeah, okay, that's the warning. Okay, we're going. We're going. Here we go. Like, comment, subscribe on the YouTube right now. And let me know what you think about this ban list in the comments. Okay, cards that will become banned or restricted cards from August 31st, 2024. Restricted cards. Decks can only include one copy of these cards. That's an Ukulmon. That's the promo Ukulmon. It was intended for this to be a to be a card that could be combined with with Louis and use a variety of decks, but the importance of this one card turned out to be much bigger than predicted as it increases the speed of control decks that don't require level three and provides many options by securing memory. As a result, there's a difference in power between decks that can use this card and those that can't, resulting in a loss of diversity for above reasons. We still have this other one. All right, okay, so we're off to a good start. We're hitting a new Komon. Uh, this Ukumon is dead. Well, that one. Good enough. Louie! Uh, by repeatedly combining effects that aren't once per turn, such as Matt's Ashida with the cards on play effect, the game's speed accelerates dramatically, making it difficult for the decks to complete because various decks use countermeasures against the combinations. Decks that are strongly affected by the countermeasures are no longer able to perform as effectively as they should, resulting in lots of diversity. Ah, yes. Uh, when we have crazy aggro decks with, like, I don't know, Gobblemons in them or something. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Uh, they hit Gobblemons, chat. <laughs> That's just, okay. All right. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this Louis should have been a one. I agree with this. That's a good hit. I have no problems with this hit. Um, all right. Next. Hammer Spark! <laughs> No way! It finally happened. All the people two years ago that were like, Hammer Sparks gotta go. Hammer Sparks gotta go. They were right. They were right all along. <laughs> oh, God. This card and the allegations. Okay. This card has been used in decks, include blue cards, for a long time. But the increased variety of cards available now allows for more card drawing, making it possible to have multiple cards in the hand and use them consecutively in one turn. As a result, it's become easier to speed up the game, widening the gap between decks that can use this card and others. For the above reasons, we decided to restrict this card to one per deck. Shout out to uh, a Blue Hybrid and the Gobus and all that fun stuff. All right. Okay. That's fun. That's really enjoyable. Let us proceed. I, I have nothing to say. I, I, I sort of kind of agree with this. If this was not on my list at all. This one threw me for a loop. But I guess it makes sense. I, I don't hate it. All right. Awakening of the Golden Knight. How do you hit Magna X without hitting Magna X? I told you, guys. I told you. They're not going to hit Magna X. But Awakening is fine. This card is used in decks that mainly use BT16 Magnumon X, which has a high usage rate in win recent game environments. When combined with cards such as level 3 cards that support Digivolution, it was possible to keep Magnum X on the board early on and move toward attacking. The above play is very powerful and creates situations that many decks can't handle. For to fix this, we decided to restore the card to 1. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I don't hate this hit. Those that wanted Magnum X hit got the Magnum X hit. No, no problems. Uh, this this seems seems fine. 
Numi X. All right, good, good, good. Uh, when using Numon Dex, this card has high board retention from the beginning of the game, and its inherited effect can be reused when combined with other cards, allowing this single card to significantly increase the ability to control the entire deck. In addition, since the level 6 can also be played by its effect, it's easy to digivolve from there to level 7, which has a higher output to create a one set of control board at an early stage. For the reasons stated above, we expect this card will play a very large role in the deck. No, no shit! Uh, well, resulting in a loss of diversity in the cards included. For the above reasons, we decided to shift this card to one. This is the best card in the deck. Uh, too much recursion, it's way too good. Uh, this deck's been running around for way too long. It makes sense that something gets hit. Uh, I have another speech on this card. I have a little more to say on this card. But I want to see the rest of the ban list before I say the rest. So I'm just going to skip this for now and move onwards. <sighs> They have hit BT14 TK. Let's talk. Having multiples of this card in play makes it easy to continuously and significantly increase memory, guaranteed stability in yellow vaccine decks and others that use this card. Also, this card's roll through the entire game becomes significant since the effect which increases or decreases the security cards can be inactivated for low memory cost. On top of this, having memory gained after recovery effects lets the player do more and makes matches take excessively longer. Oh my god. Oh I agree with everything else so far. I think this was the wrong hit. Uh, the, I hate... I hate it when card games do this. Oh, we're banning a card because it takes too long. Instead of just banishing the... Ba banishing. Punishing the players that take slow. Instead, it just hit the card. Um, now... Now, I will agree... I will agree... I will, I will say that the more of these you have, the more chance you have of winning. And I, I can count on the on my hand, on my hand, the number of times I opened with Patamon and TK, and not won that game. So I guess, I guess it makes sense. All right, okay. All right. Oh, okay, we have restriction lifts. Wait, that's it? I guess it's not bad. That's actually six cards. Okay. All right. Real quick, Numon X. I know a lot of people that talk to me on YouTube and Twitch said Monze Mount X is the problem. And... If you guys remember my original day one stance, it was, y'all are crazy, this card is better. And people were like, no Mario, you're wrong. You're wrong, Mario. How could you be wrong? Monza X is the problem. This card's fine. Yeah, okay. That, that's all I wanted to say on that. I just wanted to make sure I didn't get hit before we kept going. All right, a card that'll be lifted. This Gobamon, the Star Deck Purple Gobamon. Um, okay. I'm interested. In past game environments, when this card was widely used by combining it with Digimon, that had an effect that let it attack consecutively and activating a tender that doesn't... Okay. 
By combining it with a Digimon that had an effect that let it attack consecutively and activating its inherited effect that doesn't have once per turn multiple times, it increased the speed and consistency of decks that made use of the trash. However, as the card pool has increased in recent game environments, there are now more ways to suppress attacks. Because of this, we have determined that it has become more difficult to consistently activate this card's effect multiple times compared to before. Therefore, we have then decided to change the card from restricted to one to unrestricted. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I guess. Uh, sure. If okay. I I don't really agree or disagree with this. This is kind of like yeah, whatever. I guess it makes sense to have draw power back in purple. All right. That's it. Wait, altered cards. Oh, we have this already. Okay. That appears to be all. Um. No, okay. Thoughts in a nutshell, real quick for the TLDR. Uh, this is a good hit. This is a good hit. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, this is good. Uh, Bandai can suck my D for that. And this is whatever. Um, I am... I, I think that this helps by getting rid of Numamon. I don't think... And, and I guess the, the loop... The loop deck. I don't think this helps anything else. Which means we're gonna have blue hybrid still do fine. Because I was I was never being a hammer hammer spark and blue hybrid to begin with. Um we still have BT sixteen Ukomon. That's fine. Uh yeah, this Mirage Algamon's fine. Imperial's fine. Uh, hopefully rip Ukomon, hopefully. Though, I think the Ukomon players will still try to rally make this deck work. And, uh, Yellow Vaccine is still fine. It's still fine! Trust me. You can win games with Yellow, Va Yellow Vaccine without even drawing TK. I've done it before. It will happen again. It's fine. But anyway, um, that's it. And I'm live on Twitch right now streaming this, so we're going to have some post-video discussion that you guys on YouTube are not going to see. So maybe watch me on Twitch more if you want to see the real goods. This is just a reaction. But the good goods are coming for my Twi tw Twitch viewers. Alright, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll see you later, YouTube. Bye!